Hi, I'm Ben Nelson. I'm a co-founder and the Chief Technology Officer of Lambda School. And today I'm going to talk to you about Lambda School's curriculum. So uh, today specifically I'm going to be talking about um, the, uh, the full stack web class, uh, that class's curriculum. Um, but a lot of the, the principles I'm talking about carry over into our other courses as well. But as far as like specific technology examples, they're all going to be from the web curriculum. So first thing I want to talk about is, is how Lambda School contrasts with um, you know, maybe a, a university's curriculum as well as another, another boot camps. So, um, so we have Lambda, um, you know, a typical you know, boot camp, and then uh, a university. So OK. All right, so I'll start with the coding boot camp. So, with a coding boot camp, uh, most of them are three months long. Uh, typically, you have about six weeks of instruction and then six weeks of working on a project. So, 12 weeks, um, you know, so, uh, uh, you know, six weeks of uh, projects, um, you know, six weeks of uh, instruction. And you know, most of them start with uh, like full stack JavaScript, um, just because that's a little bit easier of an approach. So, you know, uh, JavaScript, they'll do front end JavaScript development, and then you'll learn Node and Express on the back end. And, and, um, and uh, it's, uh, you know, the idea is to give you as, you know, as, uh, as hyper focused of an education on, on a specific technology stack as quickly as possible uh, so you can, you know, get your foot in the door at a company. Um, you know, uh, boot camps. There's a there's a wide uh, range of quality. You know, some are you know some are some are okay, and some you know some are, are not that great. Um, if we look at at a university, um, you have you know four years. Um, you know, so typically you're going to spend around you know around two of that. Um, you know, focused on um, you know on your major. So you know, you have two years of generals, then two years um, you know in your uh, uh, you know, in your area of study, um, and with a university as well, it's it's a little more you know academically focused. Um, so if you're wanting to get into research, if you want to get a PhD, um, you know, university is absolutely the route you have to go. Uh, it's you know you're you're going to get a very strong mathematical foundation. Um, you know, there's you know if you're going to study computer science, you're going to learn calculus, linear algebra, um, you know, a lot of things like that. That um, you know. Don't come up in your job too much unless, you know, maybe if you're like a, yeah, yeah, a data scientist or something, it'll come up a little bit more. But, um, you know, for web developers, you know, they're, you know, they're very, very, very few ever have to touch calculus um, or any, any math beyond algebra. Um, and then with the university as well, uh, you're going to be starting from more of a, a bottom up approach. So you'll start with, you know, like a lower level programming language um, generally. Um, again, there's, there's exceptions to these rules, but you're going to start with, you know, often something like C++ or, um, you know, a lower level language and you'll work your way up starting from first principles. So you're going to be taking your calculus classes and, and you know, and taking your, uh, you know, uh, 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 like you know, learning about machine language and assembly, things like that, that are that are much lower level, um, and then and then you work your way up, and then by the end of it, um, you know, maybe you're starting to build things that uh, you know you could actually put in the app store or host on the web, and um, you know, and, and again, uh, every university is a little bit different, but again, so you know, bottom up approach. Um, and, and a lot of time spent on things that aren't directly related to your, to your career path, which, you know, the argument is that those things help you be more, you know, well-rounded. Um, so with Lambda School, um, we have a, it's, it's a, well, three E's. <laughs> it's a, it's a 30 week long curriculum. And, and instead of, uh, and this is a, I'm going to draw an arrow here. That means kind of bottom up. Um, with Lambda School, we take a top down approach. So we start with easier things. So like JavaScript is a relatively easy programming language to start with. Um, it's uh, it's much more flexible and, and, and a little less strict, and and uh, it's, it's it's easier for people who are just new to programming to, to pick up with. And so we start with things that are generally considered easier and work our way down. And so towards the end of the course, we're getting into data structures and algorithms and computer architecture, and we teach C and and um, uh, you know operating systems, web servers, how those things work at a lower level, and and that's a little later on, but we find that students learn that a lot better when we start from, you know, 
easier, you know, easier things that are easier to conceptualize um, and then move further down the stack. Um, and we tried to honestly kind of find a, a, a sweet spot between a boot camp and a university. Um, so boot camps, the reason boot camps exist are because there are so many job openings for software engineers and, um, and universities aren't putting out enough graduates. So, but what we're finding though is that boot camps in many instances are, are insufficient and, and they don't get the average student all the way there. So Lambda School kind of sits in between a boot camp and a full university. Um, and so we work, we work backwards from our industry partners. We, you know, we, we look at these companies, we look at what they need, what skills they need, and, and then we design our curriculum so our students have the exact skills that um, you know that the that the employers want, and so it's a it's a very different approach than um, than how most universities approach it. Um, it's uh, it's it's all geared around you know how do we get you into a high paying job as quickly as possible with as much potential so you can grow your career, um, you know so you can be a senior developer a few years from now, and and uh, you know how we can help you, uh, yeah, get into a good career as quickly as possible. All right, so these are some of the uh, some of the main differences between Lambda's curriculum and how it compares to uh, a typical shorter coding boot camp in a university. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, go check out our website or uh, yeah, reach out to us. Thanks.